All right. Well, welcome back now to Skeptical Eye for the Paranormal Guys and Jesse. He's still here in spirit, at least. Yes. <laughs> here in spirit. And today we're going to be talking about the red dot phenomenon. I thought we were talking about we're Flat talking. Earth. No, no, no. Do you, you now remember? I was like... He's got to do more flat crap Earth, on Flat Earth. Yeah, dude, I have to do, do more research. Uh, well, let's do Flat Earth. <laughs> We're doing red. Be, we're doing yeah, red, red dot, dot society or whatever. Yep, the red dot grid pattern. So okay, that's basically yeah. That red dot a, motherfucker got me banned from Xbox. I'm He's talking about Chris. Anyway, keep going. Oh, yeah, red dot dude. One of these days we should have Chris on because I really want to do that with him. But I'm like, oh my goodness, I've had this one for fucking three months. Welcome back to Skeptical Eye for the Paranormal Guy. We're all here. Your host here, Patricia. <laughs> And he has a wonderful tale about a phenomenon often related to either ghosts or aliens, depending on who you talk to. Take it away, Pat. All right. So as I said, red dot, red grid phenomenon. So as it is described, it is an unknown symptom of an unknown cause where small, very circular red dots appear as if etched onto the skin. Now, this is something that a lot of people actually, I shouldn't say a lot of people, but a decent amount of people, including a friend of the friend of the show's quick sneak. Had quick this experience, sneak. apparently, not crick. I said quick sneak, didn't I? You said crick. I heard quick, but yeah, I heard quick. But... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay, so but quick, quick sneak had this phenomenon happen to him, if I'm not correct or not uh, mistaken, right? Uh, Michael, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you have to be the one to speak for him, at least at this point. But so, this is something that uh, people have a lot of different speculation over, is like. like what could it be? And there's a couple of different explanations. This occurrence is uh, speculated to be caused by uh, extraterrestrial visitation, which is the hot button issue because there's been a lot of circulation of uh, photos of people like having this and like not remembering things. And turns out that I did a little digging personally. And the only one, like the only idea that I have that kind of could be like a real world possibility was uh where was that oh my god where did it go i'm so sorry everybody all right let's talk about the nuclear war in uh, ukraine yeah why not? Christ. might as well i'll just stitch this all together and make it coherent so y'all just chat it up i'm gonna figure out where i'm at so what do you guys think about that patrick I'm austin getting... jesse Just... unraise your hand real quick for me so i can move the videos please god damn it perfect thank you <laughs> I feel like there'd be uh, less issue in Ukraine if Putin were suffering from the red dot issue. There might be more issue, man, if you think about it. The more issue? Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> then he's working with the aliens, man, right? Then he's being harangued by the aliens. Hey, 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 Pat, er, Michael, put your fucking camera on. It is on. Yeah, he just sinks into the background. He just refuses to turn a light on because he's a nocturnal being. Uh, no, I'm a, I'm a brown bear, see? I, okay, well, I figured it out. Anyway. Well, I thought we were about to have a good conversation about that. Okay, Jesse, what, what significant points do you have to add to the war? Well, Tell us. it's bad, okay? <laughs> All right, Pat, What's it, what about Red Dot? Well, I'm just going to start kind of yeah. over, and then we'll get into it now that we're on the track okay <laughs> yeah. now, we're on track. Now, on. now the trains left the station lots of different <laughs> explanations that kind of vary uh now most of the time people only wake up with these oblivious to or uh, oblivious to um any you know nighttime interactions or anything some of the they don't easier... remember getting ghostly acupuncture no so depending on region uh there is something called a or the pus caterpillar and it actually can give like a uh, like a sting and a rash that kind of looks similar, but it's a little bit more blotchy. Are so, they in Colorado? Do you have no. a photo of the pus caterpillar I at can, hand? Yes, I do. But Pat, yeah, is I that mean. like one, the area that's gotten bitten? That's no, like, it's like, what do you mean? Like the... Like it bites you and it affects that one area or is it like a rash? It's more of a rash. So I'll show you the... Uh, uh, the pus caterpillar. Well, that looks kind of cute. Yeah, can you see it? 
Yeah, yeah, but does he live in Colorado? So how can you explain? No, no. Well, that's the thing. The it's southern only in a very... flannel moth is what it turns yeah. into. Yeah. That's honestly cute as hell. Look at that. That's like fuzzy. Fuzzy and friendly. <laughs> now I'll show you the rash. Michael, get that damn bear off my fucking computer. I am a bear. All right. How do I share my screen again? Oh, that doesn't look friendly at all. Yeah, Austin, how about this? Anytime you'll you'll be the guy who pulls up all the stuff, okay? Okay, hold on. So go when back I to say Austin a thing, you just tap type it in. Or you know. Yeah, you're Jamie. Oh, whoa. What? Whoops. Oh, he's having issues too. No, no, I had that menu in the wrong spot. I was trying to click on this picture. Look at that. Interesting. But that looks more like it's like that, his his is way different than that. Yeah, well, that's the thing is that um, this is more. Just, um, uh, it looks like somebody stepped on you with a work boot. This is so more this, symmetric. Yeah, and there's a lot more of it because it's only like ever really like a couple of dots. It's never supposedly like this type of thing. This is just one of those rational explanations that like you could technically oh. have, except that it is based okay. on the region. I'm pretty sure, you know, like you probably don't have pus caterpillars all over the place. I don't know where the flannel moth actually like flies around at, but type uh, type in the red red uh red, red grid phenomenon or whatever so you can oh, see. Oh, Texas. Uh that looks like the red states. And and it skips over New Mexico and ends up in Arizona. Wait, wait was that real? We're, I'm checking southern flannel moth. Range probably. Yeah. I spell good. I type this good. This damn chipmunk is pissing me off. It's a bear. It's a brown bear. <laughs> but you couldn't even figure out your settings, and he figured out how to turn himself into a bear. So I don't know if you I can tried. Say much. You guys saw. I shared yeah, okay, my screen. So gave the you southern U.S. Computer. You still couldn't figure it out. So yeah, that's a very small area, and obviously not where Quick Sneak was up in Colorado. I'm assuming is where he was. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's not out of the range of possibility, but also it's not, you know, wildly. Well, likely. yeah. And also he didn't yeah. have any, like that whole thing is like associated that. also like, with like, you know, painful. It's like not half fun. of a furry pair. He would he would notice for sure. Yeah, you Puss would. Puss moth. Like, awesome. No, yeah, Look so, up the, the red, red grid yeah. phenomenon or whatever. The red grid phenomena. All right. Yep. Give me a sec here. So that you can see in comparison what it looked because it, it looks yeah, exactly like this, essentially. And then pictures. Yeah, image it. Yeah. yeah. So like right here. So that that second on, photo and the, and the first yeah, one, it, it was very. Yeah, similar that's exactly that. what it was. Aliens. And they say that it sometimes it comes and it goes. And other than like the symptoms that they, you know, you see on the skin, there's actually there's no explanation for it. Why is this on 2kgamer.com? <laughs> it's where you get all the good info. Aliens? Don't worry about it, says Massive Flesh on Tumblr. Okay, but yeah, so, you know, you've got, you know, different different people experiencing different things, but it, you know, it always ends up in, you know, it's not a painful thing. It's, you know, usually in this, like, very symmetrical circles, unlike that uh, Puss Caterpillar with the, uh, you know, it's kind of more blotchy. It's two S's, yeah, we found that out. <laughs> Puss Caterpillar. <laughs> I did You're think it was the pus caterpillar, caterpillar first, but so why Whoa, did the man, people relax. other than other than this like you know kind of small phenomenon, where did people kind of get this idea? Because like a lot of people talk about the red dot or grid phenomenon and they like know about it, but there's not a lot of like where did it really come from? And I think I found the answer to that because there was a bunch I think of I found the answer to that too. Oh, it's in your background phone. behind the alien. Oh yeah, the red there it's is the red suckers. Dots. It's it's an octopi. No, nope, yeah. but actually, that is a cool thing that was in the, the rare episode. Colorado like, oh, shit, The red dots. I don't know if that was just a pattern or whatever. When I first heard about the red gritty phenomenon, I remember seeing a photo associated with it. You already know, it. though. And here's the thing: I think that this is where <laughs> it started because. So we're going to go talk first about uh, Austin. Could you look up this Falcon Lake incident? Falcon Lake. And then go to images. Yeah. Mm. That dude right there. The one on yes. that one right there. So that is the f- first photo that I ever remember oh. seeing and being associated with the I'm familiar with this. That yeah. guy suffered from radiation, right? Yeah. So and obesity. 
No, that guy's actually pretty did. fucking fit, I'm pretty sure, because all right, so how fit is he, Pat? Well, I'll tell you. So in the sprawling land of Manitoba, Stefan Mikalark, I don't know his actual name, Stefan Stefan Mikalak was out doing some prospecting as he was an amateur geologist. An industrial mechanic, he lived in uh, Winnipeg with his family about two hours away by car. He had planned a long weekend to go searching for precious metals in the area. The day in question was uh, May 20th, 1967. During this time out uh, at the lake, Mikulek had said that he was first alerted to something strange when he heard a flock of geese making a commotion on the on the water. Uh, so he's out on this lake, basically prospecting, doing like, I guess he was an amateur prospector. Get the fuck yeah. out of here, sicko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a real sicko. You know, so he hears this commotion out on the lake while he's doing this uh, prospecting on May 20th, 1967. When he looked up, he observed two cigar shaped crafts that glowed a reddish color. Don't know what they were really doing, but it's apparently the, the crafts then split off after a moment, one leaving the scene while the other craft landed on a nearby rock. So <laughs> later he, he apparently observes two UFOs come down, one takes off. Apparently they're they're cigar shaped, and then another lands on a flat rock like nearby him. As the craft amateur landed, geologist, he'd have told you what kind of rock it was. Otherwise, <laughs> it was genius, Austin. So as the as the craft landed, you were on your phone to... up until two seconds ago. Fuck off. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what was you just like shaking your? You just wave like, your fancy water at me. Yeah, I fucking did. As the craft landed, it appeared to morph shape from cigar. Uh, f- from a cigar shape to a saucer shape. So it's glowing red though, and it like lands, and apparently, like as it does that, it morphs into more of a saucer type shape. So uh, Stefan did not immediately approach. In fact, he actually sk- uh, sketched it out for like 30 minutes trying to see. I what thought was you were going to say skedaddled. <laughs> it's like, hell yeah, <laughs> good verb. So you got some neat missiles on him? Basically, he was just watching it for like half an hour. And like during this time, he observed many details about the craft. It was roughly uh, three or 34 by 15 foot out any rivets or seams. And Mikulek could not distinguish any insignias on the craft. Uh, he claimed that he first thought the craft was a military experimental vehicle. So this is 1967. I don't know. Don't know much about him uh, that I haven't read up on it since I literally like put it together, which was a while ago now so we don't know much about him until i tell you and then okay. i'll find out myself michael i'm gonna need you to do me a favor real quick all right what's up i need you to stand up and walk four feet to a light switch nearby you <laughs> and flip it into an upwards position <laughs> i think i have a lantern around here that'll lantern. work too <laughs> that'll be uh, in theme <laughs> That would be, yeah, dude, like it's uh, scary tales around. Okay. Whenever I see your fucking face, though, as a bear. It you like this, huh? Pat, don't say anything too important. I'm grabbing more beer. Oh, yeah. Are you done with the story, Pat, or are you, you going to keep going? What's happening? I'm going to keep going. So this guy has radiation. Well, I mean, that will get to Ooh, that point. But actually, like, right, actually, actually, right actually, now, actually, actually, hey. He could actually get that because he works for Ball Arena. Or not ball arena, ball space as security. He wasn't working there at that time. That's more recent. When oh, he what could he conceptually get? Radiation. Oh. Yeah, he wasn't working at ball at that sneak? time. Do you think they like just like gave him radiation to figure out if he could take it? I, I don't think that's what happens. Find out if he can handle it. Put a little radiation in him. I mean, sometimes, you know, that would be a good thing like, weed out the week. And, I mean, he got okay. a job because he... Wow. Look, even his bear is skeptical at that statement. <laughs> and I'm a brown bear. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> Where's that lantern, <laughs> bud? Fuck. What do you mean? It's on. <laughs> you know how shocked I am? Look. <laughs> wow. Dude, quit sticking your fucking <laughs> tongue out, you goddamn... Wow, freak. that's... Yeah, that's hilarious. That's part of the bear. That's just part of his anatomy. How do you get the bear? 
You're on your phone, aren't you? Oh, I'm not gonna tell uh, you because it's gonna be another. He's on his phone. Out. He's on his phone. I fucking I do miss Michael, dude. Oh my god, he's fucking funny. Oh, do you miss him? Yes, I do. I, I miss when he all. used to be able to walk. He could turn on his lights then. What is with this light thing? <laughs> dude, show your own he's... form. This is my final form. <laughs> no, not your final form. We want that basic bitch one we know. Anyway, so he thought it was a fucking military spacecraft. And finally, after about 30 minutes, he began to approach the saucer, which had now become the color of basically hot stainless steel. So it's so it a hot glowing orange. Steel. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> I don't know. That's just Give how me a moment. described. Uh, literally, that is the uh, quotations. And uh, a heavy scent of sulfur accompanied by warm air radiated from the ship. Along with this, he could hear uh, mechanical hissing and motor sounds. So he gets close to this thing, and apparently it sounds like it's, like, acting up. So what was it, though? What it appeared to be, it's just like a cigar-shaped craft apparently landed and turned into a saucer. Hot stainless hot. steel. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's that color. Was it a lands hot water on a freaking either? rock. The water I mean, it said that it was, house? like, no, definitely not. Because he, he's at a lake. This is a ways up there. There's a ways away. Yeah, so uh, finally after 30 minutes, blah, 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 blah. Heavy scent of sulfur and warm air radiating from the ship. Along with this, he could hear uh, mechanical and hissing and motor sounds. He saw that on one side of the craft had opened, uh, had an open door and he could hear two distinct voices. One higher pitched <laughs> than the other. So, uh, you know, now he's hearing people talk. Man, the ship's pretty hot. Yes, it is. <laughs> Michael, uh, fucking stop that. <laughs> stop what? Open it. You think mouth. that's distracting, but I keep looking at you and then it's like, oh man, you got to get that achievement, bro. So he saw that uh, on the side of the graph, there was an open door and he heard the people talking. At first, he tried communicating in English. So apparently, I think that he's, uh, what is he? Yeah, he's a uh, Polish At immigrant. First so he started at first, he tried communicating in English because he knows, <laughs> like, what he knows the fuck multiple else languages. He communicated. Well, because he, maybe so, his okay, native so tongue? He, he can't. He could be French. It's make, Canada, right? Yeah, it is Canada. But he's, so we'll get to it, but he's an immigrant from Poland. The Poland, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> bottom line, he starts talking to them in English, thinking that the pilots were experiencing a technical malfunction. As he's shouting, basically, he uh, heard all the voices kind of like shut up. So <laughs> being a Polish immigrant, he tried speaking in Polish, Russian, and then German. Uh, despite getting no response, he put on his handy-dandy welding goggles and headed towards the opening of the of the ship. Um, from within, he said he saw the lights and panels flashing various colors. So he was going up there to basically, I think that he was like a mechanic of some kind. So he was going to go like help them out. Uh, anyway, so from within, he said he saw lights and panels flashing various colors. He did not see any individuals inside. Stefan uh, reported that he decided to touch the outside of the craft which allegedly began to burn uh, the tips of his finger. Just then, the opening of the craft sealed, and within uh, with a three-section door, the UFO then rotated counterclockwise, revealing a panel with grid-like holes on it. Is it still landed when it rotates? Out. No, it like it lifts up. It's hovering or something? Turns. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so it rotated counterclockwise, revealing the panel-like grid with holes. And an unknown gas vented out, which set Mechlek's clothes ablaze. He was then hit directly in the chest with the heat <clears> gas. And as he tore off the uh, clap, like he was tearing off these clothes, the uh, craft took off. So then obviously you've seen the uh, that picture. That's allegedly oh. what happened. And apparently okay. um, he uh, those bruises ended up actually like raising up, you know, and becoming like, you know, boils at one point and not just like surface burns. Now, this brings us to my theory. The red grit dot pattern is a case of the illusionary uh, truth effect. It is an effect when you see or hear an, an idea, the more it becomes like shared or repeated and more likely that everyone takes it on as fact. So I feel like enough of the people who were talking about, like, I don't doubt that this like phenomenon like has occurred to people. I just don't know if you could be like, it's an alien thing because I feel like even though it's a associated with thing that's associated with i feel like 
because this Falcon Lake incident, which seems to be like an actual, like not like an abduction thing, but like a, a horrendous accident. And honestly, Mechlek, his like final statement basically is the fact that he never thought that it was an alien craft that he saw during this incident. He always like remained thinking that it was like some sort of like an or like Canadians uh made craft basically or experimental aircraft uh so yeah i but i believe enough of these people saw this image that uh that phenomenon of the falcon lake incident they're like ah we're gonna associate that with aliens just overall i think that it definitely like because sound of it and by the look of all the pictures that i've seen you know other than like the puss caterpillar you know it looks like any strange type of rash right maybe it sticks around for a little bit. Maybe it goes away. Maybe it comes back. Like who knows what's causing it, but it might, it's probably not like an alien thing. And that's because I think that this is what everybody was thinking of. What you see here on Austin's screen. Yeah. That initial, this. He also, he, his uh, gloves were burned during that. Cause he touched the outside of the craft before he even, before that even happened. Did, did so, he develop like some sort of like cancer or like leukemia or something? Yeah, like probably. I have not done uh, like really shortly sure. after. Yeah, because so, so, um, what was I doing? Sorry. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to continue here. Where both have red dot grid patterns, the case of Stefan Mechlek is much different than the ones uh, experienced by other people. Uh, one, the cause was a UFO, um, that he had actually seen and therefore positively identifies the craft as such. Um, oh, see, that's pretty interesting. It's on his shirt too. Yeah. And it burned through. That's the actual, so they actually have um, like the gloves and I think, yeah, the shirt were actually like recovered afterwards. This article is on a CBC, which I believe is Canadian broadcasting. Yeah, that is or what that Manitoba. is. Manitoba. Actually, I have yeah, I have all the lists of the things that I found. It that's one of the uh, articles that we were I was reading. That looks um, like he was real close to whatever it was, though. I think he was because he like was yeah, because he touch like it. yeah, he was touching it and then it like lifts up, it hovers, and like basically blasts off right from there. I thought it hit him with a beam. Yeah, apparently. Well, apparently it's the, saying the gases hit him. Vent thing. Yeah, yeah, from yeah, this like vented thing. When did yeah, this happen? So the 1950s, 1940s, 1960s? 67, so late 60s. Uh, yeah, so with that being said, you know, the the red grid pattern seems to be a kind of a benign thing, unlikely to be caused by abduction or visitation, whereas I think it's that illusionary truth effect where people are like, you see this, like this is where I remember seeing and like learning about this incident. So yeah, the Falcon Lake incident is apparently a uh, uh, t- how it is the best documented UK case of Canada. I see what's weird is that at least in this in the scenario with with Chris is that mm-hmm. he it's I think it happened twice, but he couldn't like remember anything. Like my first question was like, oh, did you sit in a chair weirdly? Did yeah. you get a rash from a chair? Did you like was your bed like uncomfortable that night? What you know, did you get some sort of massage? And yeah. like as far as I remember, he didn't remember anything, right? And like he shares the house with his now wife and his two mm-hmm. kids, right? And like they didn't seem to have anything on them. So I, I yeah. don't know. It, it, I had a lot of questions that I obviously grilled him about, but like he yeah. didn't he he didn't seem to have like any weird dreams anything like that like did he get a new shirt or new sheets or any sort of new clothing i asked the i asked the sheet question i didn't ask about the new shirt but because was, like, it, no my concept is like it it looks very regular you know so yeah. i've always thought maybe some chemical that's commonplace in post-processing but not final shipment processing for clothing or sheets or something that gets so why... left over and what's weird is that like it's so perfect right like yeah the pattern like... is what's creepy about it, it, it and that's well, why it, it makes me think it was some chemical like applied by a machine to a textile and then right. it ends up sitting oh, too long like in the same like spot on your roll... body oh i see what you're saying but i mean at the same time like wouldn't you see more like i feel like it would be more 
Yeah. On Even if it's legs. a pattern, like, yeah, because he's moving. See, then around. my guess is that it's easily soluble, whatever it is. So the moment it starts to get hot, it comes out of like the shirt and it's on your skin. But, it but might also, be easy to absorb then, topically, but not very like long term if it's cool or a hot. His, I mean, his partner that he shared a bed with. Right. Like if it was she like, I guess if it was clothes. Sure. Right. But like. I don't know. And, and it's That's weird. His wife. That on the back like it was on his back right and it seemed if i remember correctly it was like that lower mid back where i i don't know it just seems like somebody else noticed it well and it's also you think about it, like wouldn't don't you think if it was like some sort of chemical that it would like burn a little bit yeah it's you not, have like a like an itch and... or some sort of feeling towards it and he and i, I used to think that and Even then i worked a around burner, a lot of chemicals still... for a while yeah. and now it's like you don't really notice until you're like why is my whole arm red <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> like even if it was like uh if it was a burn from heat that would still hurt and why didn't it blister up then chemical burn would blister Burn no, no, not all of them blister. It can literally be like a surface level irritation. When I get heptane on me for a whole day, it just turned red. And then it'd be like, I fucked up. Yeah. I, like I mean, I mean, that is possible. I mean, I don't know. But at the same time, I don't know. It just seems like it. And it's like that nobody would ever have like a bad reaction from that. I'm just thinking like, because there's so many skin types like like you know that i, I just feel, feel like, like if it, how many skin types are somebody there, i i guess i mean like <laughs> sensitivity is worth the skin like if there's people who like you know because like my girlfriend and i um we got like a, a a oculus quest and like just the the like well whatever the yes. thing that goes around it basically the, the face the part, strap the the, the no, goggles it, slash well, like the, the band the, it's the like padding. the band that goes oh yeah, the, the, the seal that goes on your face yeah yeah the seal literally like has like it had some sort of chemical like it did not affect me at all like i could wear this for days hours you know and i and didn't get any like folks. and my girlfriend got like a crazy rash it was probably right from you man because you put on some weird fucking copper hats on and <laughs> you know, yeah you're damn fucking triangles the, cop, that you're the trying copper to, pyramid that you're trying my to, life. that's gonna be another no no no, no. Save my life, your man. damn fucking trying that you're medicine, trying to most heal staff with pyramid. okay so i don't think this is it but i'm looking at photos over here give me one sec let me swap over yeah, because staff is healed with so look at this, right? Over so head. this is like this is like cupping that weird thing people do with I've done cups cupping before more why? recently. Anywho, <laughs> this this here, this is growth scars. This one, that's just growth scars. Yeah, those are no, yeah. That's the one on the mark. number four. four They're the same the... thing. Growth scars, stretch marks, your stomach grows. But like this, no, the my stomach pattern... has never had that. My pecs have that. That's your stomach sad. gets that. It's uh, called a growth you... scar because the flesh has to stretch because something yeah, else has or grown. Or your fucking muscles get bigger. You see? Because your muscles grew, you dip shit. I'm, we're saying the same thing. You're just saying I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, they're not on my fucking stomach, though. Mine are on my fucking legs and back because I got tall quick. Shut up. Anywho, look, there's a all couple right. people <laughs> who call it this and it's like growth marks. And then there's all of this that's actually like the grid thing. But okay, so what's weird is like See, that, the one that we that one looks like somebody leaned on a uh a net. That's how it looks like, like a groove. Yeah, you don't see any grooves either. Where like you know how like, hey, we could been, honestly like, probably get surface. fucking um Chris in here. Yeah, what's he doing right now? See this. Okay, the reason I do, the, the original this is oddball. The, the original Xbox. one, the reason I don't trust this. This looks like he fell on a grill or something. Or that's let me tell you something it. about geology. That was when he was all right. grabbing and burning. We drank a lot. I don't know. My dad's he could have like gotten shit profound geologist. Look at that. That's the top of it, dude. But he's in petroleum. There's a difference. Oh, is there? There is because there's the geologists who are like, I'm gonna go look at this zircon and figure out if it's from 28 million years ago or 280 million years ago. And then there's the okay. I'm gonna go find oil. It looks like see how there's <laughs> edges on the shirt. There's edge burns, and these look like contact 
burns on the well, edges. So if you fell on a grill, right, that like your whole shit would be melted into you. So this is 60s, so that might actually be genuine cotton on that wife beater. That doesn't matter what, though. It's still, if you fucking I, if you fell into it, it, it still would. Still be. But it, it only for a se- if you fell into it long enough for you to get the burn of like the surface. I don't know the history of like 1940s through 60s Canadian grills for camping. But I can see that being some sort of hot plate or it's grill still, well, or otherwise. Uh, I can't. Hey, Austin. What's up? Um, write your email in the chat and I'll send I'll send you the pictures that he sent me. So uh, You showed them to me before, I think. This Dan Bear, it just looks so like weird and so like, funny like out of play. Talking bear before. The bear, the bear necessity. It's like it's like you never read the Bernstein Bears. <laughs> The Bernstein, Bernstein bears. bears, you might whatever. Who the fuck cares? Oh, that was the oh, there's episode. another one right there. All right, Austin, I yeah. sent it to you. Good word. Give me one sec, so, I'll pop that up. So now we're gonna go basically back to what uh Michael was kind of hitting on before is that Stefan was feeling ill after the encounter and made his way back to his motel at the Falcon Motor Hotel. <laughs> As he made his way back. He was uh, stopped by a Royal Canadian Mounted Police Officer, uh, G.A. Slotsky. Uh, the, the Mountie said he was suspect or he suspected uh, Mikulak of being drunk, but didn't detect any alcohol in his breath. Of course, the officer was dismissive of the situation, and Mikulak tried to get medical attention nearby uh, Falcon Lake, but the doctor wasn't available. So Stefan returned to Winnipeg by Greyhound, where he was checked into the, uh, what is that, Miscordia medical center he was apparently so like delirious and delusional that he was like walking back or like trying to get back to his hotel and he's just like yeah basically sick to his stomach all sorts of stuff and he takes the uh he ends up taking the greyhound back to his place where he can actually get some medical attention what you see there he had the burns on his torso as seen in the photos and even though his symptoms seem to, um, oh my goodness, yeah, even though his symptoms seemed like radiation poisoning, the initial test after the event came up negative. It so there's the picture from the our person relevant here. person people know that I don't. There's one of them. So that's it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. See that that's it. There's a second see photo, that. but I think this one's closer, so I was gonna use this one. Nah, dude, that one's legit though. Look at that shit. Like it's like so evenly spaced, you yeah, know. Yeah, and like, then like and then like even the one that it kind of fades out on the top and the bottom, you can kind of see where they sort of kept. Yeah, like why like it's very like, regular. It, was... it is. I agree. But I see I see it as an issue given the original story where this pattern was described. One like we can see, there's those edges on his shirt around where what he said, apologies, was a panel, you know, like a panel that was firing fumes and gas as a ship flew. Away. I would like to talk to that, too. If you look at it, it's like. And then on this, it's presumably under some sort of clothing. It happened. It's very regular. Well, mm-hmm. this is at an angular pattern. While the original is at a cubed pattern. So if you look at it, it's square spacing. Well, this is triangular spacing. I feel like even if it were aliens, it would have to be completely separate from the origin of this concept. Because like he's saying it was some sort of craft that caused this burn. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Mikulak. Mikulak? Yeah, yeah, Stefan. Albert, uh, Albert Otterman. Shut up, Bear. This one... <laughs> is the, like it's triangular you know so this is one of the reasons i think it's got to be some sort of weird subtle it could even be really we- like the skin's wacky you ever gotten a spot and you can't explain what it is not or like those you, no but... not like this i'm just saying you have you ever gotten a spot that you can't explain what it is you're like why do i have this why am i red here why is there Actually, a bomb? No. that kind of stuff it's not very common it's hyper regular I'm not saying it is, but it could be. Maybe there's a chemical used in manufacturing that causes it. Maybe it's a manner of manufacturing. You see how regular it is, how it's in a triangle pattern. Um, Maybe there's a a tighter knot. Manufacturing. So imagine a textile gets made, right? And at Uh every point, the machine has to tie some degree of knot. 
to make sure that it doesn't fall apart. Hang on, shut the fuck up. I got Chris on the phone. Yeah, so Chris says he doesn't remember anything. He never fucking, yeah. He's been. You got Chris on the phone. You just put Chris on the phone. He is on the fucking phone. Talk, Chris. Hey. Well, hello, Chris. It's a pleasure to meet you. (laughs) Jesse, we're not connected to him. You're gonna have to transfer our pleasant greetings. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna. Oh no, that. he's he's not hopping on. That's what he's... I'm saying. You're gonna have to transfer our pleasant greetings to him. Uh, I think he can hear you. Am I on the news? <laughs> <laughs> I wish we were that official. No, but thanks yeah, for no. the the praise. We are glad to have you on, though. Right? Can you hear us, Chris? I can hear you. That's Excellent. wonderful. Okay, cool. Well, that's step one. So, uh, okay, could you kind of bring us through the entire experience? You wake up with these, like, how did that go? What What were you like? What the fuck? Pretty much. Um, I got in the shower with my wife, and she <laughs> noticed these markings on my back, and she was explaining them to me, and I didn't really understand what she was trying to explain um until i got out of the shower and then i looked yeah. in the mirror and she started taking pictures of them and that's when i got a better understanding of what she was trying to tell me yeah could you like when i mean obviously you probably like tried to feel back there was there any like you know like any type of bumps or anything like that yeah, yeah. like anything was like the skin the raised was there any yeah. sort of irritation you could feel physically or was it just a visual nope just a visual there was no bumps or irritation um wasn't hot to the touch or anything it was just felt normal just it was just all visual and there was no Uh, new no new clothing no new fabrics (laughs) nothing like that involved in in the night prior nope nothing like that um i started like thinking oh maybe i slept on something or you know but no it was just same old mattress same old sheets nothing like that so you don't sleep on a purple mattress, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I wish I have. <laughs> Apologies, right? Chris. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you. Name's Austin. I'm just asking <laughs> dumb questions for the sake of it. Might as well rule it out, you know? Hey, Michael, say yeah. something, motherfucker. Well, uh, what do you want me to say? I've already talked to him about it, so whatever Austin wants to ask. Well, I'm, I'm just trying to get some sort of semblance of, like, what what we can instantly rule out, you know, and it's so far I've gotten most of my assumptions ruled out. So at this point, you know, if we've got you here, uh, just what did you uh, have any initial thoughts? Were you like spooked out about aliens at all? Or was that kind of like the last thing you were thinking about? No, that's pretty much the last thing from my mind. Like I said, the, the only thing I kept Good man. Was trying to retract was if I had slept on anything like that would have caused those patterns on my back. Or if I had like sat for like a prolonged period of time on something that would have caused it, but it initially went away, but then possibly came back. Am I correct? Yeah, um, it lasted for a couple of weeks, and then maybe like okay. So that first time it happened in the fall, like the beginning of fall, and then the that next summer, um, I was in Hawaii, and that's when. My wife had noticed again in the shower that they had came back. Was it in? Was it? Was it in the same place? Um. Yeah. Kind of. It was like okay. In, okay. Like okay. In my That's back, like underneath my shoulder blades area. Okay. So, was there anything? That's what we're looking at now. Yeah. Spontaneously new in in your world at that time did they have a new fancy pants ergonomical chair did you get a henrik miller or something at work did you happen to be stressed out at all any type of like weird autoimmune (laughs) flare-up and if it returned did you feel it return or was it just something that was noticed again you just said that it was no it was just something that was noticed again by my wife obviously you know i can't see my back on a on a daily basis unless i'm i'd be very impressed if you could (laughs) <laughs> but yeah no i mean it was something that was noticed by my wife on both occasions so okay damn dude hmm. so okay that is super interesting and then weird uh, another like anything that would be maybe not related to say this but 
you know, who's to say aliens didn't like visit you in the distant past and then it kind of just started showing up again? I mean, that's a possibility, but like I said, I, I don't remember any like dreams or any like instances. So is a like, small like, goblin ran into his room and poked him in a grid pattern, Pat. I don't know if that's a good. <laughs> that was me. Austin, I would rule that out <laughs> before anything. See, and I'd also rule shit. out historical alien contact. So. Well, you have a fucking person that got this on here right now. Yeah, okay. what you, how dare you so, minimize his experience? Would you say, how would you explain it personally? It's like, I just uh, fucking woke up with these bitches. <laughs> yeah, I mean, visually, I mean, like I said, there was, my skin felt normal. I mean, there was, it wasn't raised bumps or anything like that it was just all just like these red like a grid of red perfect like circular dots just placed perfectly like, symmetrically and right so when, right below the shoulder right yeah like in the middle of my back yeah so as it dissipated did it did it go away just kind of like lightning skin or did it go away like a bruise oh yeah, that's, that's a good that's a good question um, like it, it like it, it went away like pretty it took a couple weeks and like it would just gradually just just disappear. at no point was there like skin yellowing or anything like you get when you smack your arm on something real good see but because it Austin so smacks red. his arm real good on shit every night <laughs> dude I I'm a clumsy <laughs> tall motherfucker man I hit everything hey you're not but yeah. you're like six two Six toe and a half. That's tall enough. My brother is six five. He doesn't fucking whack his shit on everything. I've never even met your brother. He doesn't go outside. <laughs> he doesn't smack his shit on stuff. Well, man, that is. I don't know. It's just. So hey, crazy. we got we got the source. Yep, we did get the source. I'm guessing you guys have seen the picture, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, we've seen the picture yeah, from Michael, right and Michael is very quiet right now he's he, he is portraying himself as a little fucking bear and it's really pissing me off chris correct you would like it chris you wouldn't like it he looks like a goddamn fucking chipmunk you'd be bemused but it, it's chris correct apologies i've never met you and right now we're doing like a two-way separation meeting i'm on a microphone in arvada through jesse and lakewood to you <laughs> on the phone but it's a pleasure uh i appreciate you coming on here and discussing yeah, we, this with us yes we do especially being yeah, so random chris you can hey. open your snapchat and you can you can see what what jesse's so upset about i think it's cute Oh my god, Michael, shut the fuck up. It's I cute do. as he does an O face and sticks his tongue out. That's, yeah, that's, that's very cool. appropriate. It's amazing. Anywho, technology Chris, I now. do appreciate your input. So in the photo, it kind of looks like I don't know, it looks like blood vessels breaking. There was no pain, no indication. You didn't know you had to be told it happened, right? Correct. Yep. Hmm. That's yeah, wild. Oh, man. Cheated. How many? He was never irritated. Oh. Never dry. In more ways could we Nothing beat this like dead that. horse? We like, Looks like know, aliens. I found something. Yeah, this motherfucker had abducted. It is to wrap it up, since there's a lot of different viewpoints uh, coming together right now in our current situation, how did you end up handling it? What was your opinion personally when it happened? How did you explain it to yourself, to others? I guess just to your uh, partner, most likely. But how how did that work out for you? What did you determine it was, and how did how did you feel about it happening? Um, I mean, I was obviously a little concerned, especially since I mean, there's again, there's no you know irritation in that area or nothing like <laughs> that. It's something that I would have gone unnoticed if nobody else had you know physically looked at my back. Um, I hopped on the internet. You know, oh, pretty, pretty right away. Uh, couldn't really find Always a mixed I, bag. I do remember Googling, uh, you know, red circular dots on the back. And I, I did come across some Google images. You know, I, I forget what the term is called, but it, it's out there. And it was right away I, I found, you know, that it was related to possible, you know, something related to alien abductions and whatnot. But 
I mean, I couldn't find a reliable source as far as like, you know, it being the condition of uh, a known condition. So what I will say yeah. after that, I would say when you get um, tested for allergies, that's kind of exactly what it looks like. Yeah. When you get an allergy grid, that's exactly what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they, they poke you with a bunch of needles. You would, what's your And they each have a um, allergic with? like saline solution with an allergen in them. Yeah. And then whatever one pops up, that's what you're allergic to. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I can tell you, I've, I've never had an allergy test, so I mean, we can. Yeah, that seems. See, that could be another thing, though. It could have been kind of what I'm saying with a, a machine interacting with some sort of textile, but he's vaguely or whoever has this is vaguely allergic. I'm not saying that's it, but, but that could be think, something. Though, that no, he's, that's that's he's non allergic. Wow. That's just where they poked him. It was allergic to pop. See, up. but that that implies some sort of. I mean, it looks so, like then, blood vessels breaking, but it's not purple. Ones, yeah. So I'm so, so it's very interesting. I have a question. Have you ever had any exposure to any type of chemical or like radiation that might have? He is from know, fucking, um, where the fuck are you from again? <laughs> Peru. Peru. Yeah, they have pyramids well, there, I mean, don't they? Yeah. Or do they have pyramids? <laughs> Chris, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, feel you. free to laugh at Jesse like we do. <laughs> oh, Chris, Chris has uh, been laughing at me for over a week. <laughs> Wonderful. Good on you. I feel like Chris and I should meet. He's hey, Chris, like a good guy. You are good now. We're good. <laughs> I don't know how, though. I don't know how Peru necessarily equates into the uh, chemical thing. Uh, well, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they have like. um saying alien per- thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm going down the road of alien. Well, yeah, he's Peruvian. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, at the time, I, I was in the Navy, so who, who knows what they put into me. At oh, the time. Oh, nice. oh, you know exactly what they put into you. We can incorporate so <laughs> many of Pat's favorite. You know what? Maybe I'll stop. <laughs> hey, hey, Chris has been also. a Peruvian Navy um oh he's in the peru person forever for like eight years at least at least yeah did you see any ufos while in the peruvian navy no he was in the american navy you oh fuck. well then well, not peruvian why would you navy? preface it with being in the peruvian <laughs> navy he's in the Enjoy. u.s navy you fuck not you didn't have any other medical issues come up during the time where you had this, right? It was just kind of like a benign thing. Oh yeah, definitely. Not nothing else. I mean, yeah. I mean, the okay. last time I I had those marks was 2018. Yeah, he's a U.S. citizen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not questioning his citizenship, sweet lord. I'm just asking <laughs> about his skin lesion. Uh, Fuck off. Hey, I'm just saying he's a U.S. citizen. Okay. We just want to make that clear for any yeah. of those for agents out there watching. So yeah, the Michael most general Michael oh, Colombian. Drink your Topatico. The most general question I can ask, was there anything in your life at the time that had been new? Did you try new food? Anything like that? Just to <laughs> like rule out some sort of allergy. Uh, I'm not you, saying that's it, Indian but just food, to rule it out. You ate I want fat. you to think real far back no no i'm just <laughs> saying like if you and have a significant memory of detail. the first time you tried something if it was then see yeah. austin is like the most like person that will like try to just proclaim anything that you have done but this happened to you <laughs> and that's he's like yeah, i'm you trying to work out that why? Did you eat I... some bad chinese food one day we're starting out before we do our full medical diagnostic okay I feel bad that's your I'm hanging him on the line here. Well, we appreciate you coming on and talking about this, especially since we uh, grilled you over <laughs> over the phone. But uh, yeah, thanks, man. Genuinely, thank you so much for coming on. I did very much appreciate your much, input. I mean, if it happens again, I'll, I'll let you guys know right away. Hell yeah. D- don't yeah, feel actually, obligated, but we very much but, appreciate uh, it. We, we would be interested. For sure. First person. Once again, hey. uh, much appreciate your participation, Chris. Uh, have a lovely <laughs> evening. 
Uh, thank you for responding to whatever the hell Jesse said. <laughs> oh, no, I just called him. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Uh, God, now I feel terrible. I'm so sorry you got dragged into this after yeah, this. He was like, what's it, up, Chris? Yeah, hey, we're too- talking about your back <laughs> lesions. <laughs> that is kind of yeah. Weird. Yeah, no problem. Hey, but thank you. And, uh, you know, we won't get each Hit other. Jesse things, up. Man. And hang out with Jesse and then make Jesse hit me up and we'll hang out and I'll thank meet you, you and thank you and apologize. <laughs> All right. He's off the line. Oh, my Lord. Actually, that was a very, very impromptu. Good job, Jesse. That was wonderful. That. Yeah, you couldn't figure out your background, but you called our main source. Very good. Yeah, he owed me some shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hang out with him and then drag my ass along, all right? I need to meet me and apologize to this guy. That's fine. Who cares? You banned on Xbox? Yeah, I feel like you banned. could do that yourself. You if got left you alone. banned on Xbox. <laughs> no, he just banned me. I was like, you want to play Bofa? He's like, what the fuck is that? I was like, Bo-. and he reported that message. <laughs> and That's I got pretty good, though. That's pretty funny, days. though. <laughs> Dude, I got his ass. You want Anywho, you want red dots. We just you had Chris on. Yep. None of my assumptions apply to his yep. situation. Come on. As well as none of the situations that applied to the original red dot occurrence apply to Chris's situation. So what are we currently thinking happened to Chris? Stop That's flexing, you dipshit, and tell <laughs> me what good. happened to Chris. <laughs> That's honestly a good question, though, dude. I like I have no fucking clue. Like, it seems like there's nothing going on in his life that's like, seems to be affecting him. Is there anything biological that has that regular distribution? Maybe, Michael. Okay, I'm talking out my ass right now, but maybe there's some degree of like dermal flesh where an allergen reaction will only occur in so much. And then the chemical related to that allergen reaction is exhausted for an area. So maybe he was allergic to something and it occurred in X space because of that allergen reaction. And then it ran out of chemical to keep it going. I don't think that's right, but I mean, I I'm kind of at a loss after he said there was nothing new going on in his life, you know? And this has like happened multiple times and it's been basically in the exact same. It happened twice within a closed period, which does make me think it was something he was interacting with at that time. Michael, do you have Battlefield 1? But I don't know what. It would make more sense just because I'm thinking like, you know, even, okay, as far as, you know, like nothing that we've seen in the, uh, that I've looked up (laughs) has explained it medically as far as that goes. And there's no irritation now Again. it also is weird though because the Falcon Lake incident of which that I kind of you know think really spurred the what the <laughs> fuck is that all about? <laughs> that was about like general chemical things. Sorry. What was that female? What were you testing? Red spot skin <laughs> treatment. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that Who's was that what, bitch? dude. It was so funny. It just popped up her and the and like <laughs> without any like yeah. I was like whoa. I guess yes. okay, okay. Like, like on the original shirt he was talking about, right? It had this this section here with the, Wait, the is this like one of your edges. One of y'all's friends? What? No, this is the original incident of Red Dot. Yes, where it had the edges of the grid too. You know? Oh, I sent I sent Patrick a good TikTok. A good TikTok. <laughs> The, the way that was presented. Please tell me about your good TikTok. Austin, do you have TikTok? No, fuck no. I dude, have China's TikTok. got your number, dude. Why would I have TikTok? I have a life, Jesse. So do I. The man who's who's talking about, I have a life. I have TikTok. Like, how are you, bro? Me? I'm over here, you know? Yep. Yeah, That's Michael, right. you've been so quiet tonight. <laughs> Because you guys are just going nuts. <laughs> yeah. like, have you only been t- paying attention for the last seven minutes? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I already okay. knew Chris's thing. And I feel like I feel like I get what you're saying with it being some sort of reaction. And I'm not saying it's not. It seems like the most plausible, but I don't know. It just seems like 
if you were to, if you were to say the argument was that okay, these clothes that are being manufactured have some sort of allergen just based on their process, I feel like you would see the red dot phenomenon way more. And I'm taking into consideration yeah. that yeah, it's possible that can't nobody take it serious as a like nobody knows. I'm the factual bear. I, I for some reason I'm taking this way better than Keep anybody talking else. I'm factual like, this is reality bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just feel like if it were right, it would appear way more often. Which it's also possible that people are just not noticing because there is no rash, there is no lesion or bumping or anything like that. And so, I mean, nobody... it is possible, but at, in the history that I've known him, I didn't know him to be like sensitive or like have allergies to any kind of thing so it's unusual and he's for known sure i would he's say a little fucking kid yeah it's unusual but, for sure but not impossible i wouldn't yeah. say it's not impossible it's not impossible the thing that gets me is it only occurred for about a two-month span and it occurred multiple times in the two-month span at differing at differing degrees right that's what he was saying right that it was like less serious the second time, but it yeah, happened in a similar ground, location. And my first thought was like, oh, he sat in a chair or it was something weird. Like he just didn't take into account yeah, the, the and pattern thing because it is so perfect. The pattern is so perfect, which is where also- was he working again at this time? I don't remember at that time because he oh, was he was living in an space. old apartment as well. So like he, I get I get no, he wasn't lines in apartment. He was on in, my he, back. He was in from Belmar. work. Currently he was in Belmar, but it was the uh, the old apartment in Belmar. It wasn't. No, the new it was the big fucking place. No, it I wasn't went to there. the big place. Yes, no, dude. Because, yes, yes. I that happened well, after I went there. No, dude. That that picture that he took is from his old bathroom. It's not his current. Adam, I'm looking to you on my screen. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Well, <laughs> basically, they're talking about who knew which house he was in when. Yeah, happened. he he was in a different. It was. And it's possible. I don't know. It's beyond he was, me. He was in this these apartments that were like kind of shady. So my first thought was like, oh, he got a rash from something, right? But see, it's just like you would think that there would be other symptoms. But yeah, if it's from an alien life form, they do that strategically. Yeah. But and- why? Okay. So if it were an alien life form, why is it only the lower portion of his back? Because is maybe getting- that's where his DNA is the best. The the I think the theory only is, along that one strip of his spine on the back of this plus maybe, a little maybe, bit of the maybe scapula it has the best on either stem side. cells that we don't know about. I, I think the theory is that if you're saying it's from an alien life form, is that they laid him out on an operating table that left that pattern on his back, or that they did some sort of allergen test ish, or like some sort of testing on that specific area that left that kind of. Mark. Yeah, maybe maybe he's like the brown guy that has like great DNA. I mean, there is some weird stuff when they talk about like that uh, seemed oddly Germans and rude. Or, <laughs> that wasn't rude. That's just There's, the truth. I've heard theories on like, like especially when you're like, hey, you know, Peruvian, like, yeah, the the Atacama Desert and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And they have pyramids there, don't they? In Peru. Probably, I don't know. I, mean, I just yeah, know really they might. Machu yeah, Picchu is the only Machu one. Machu Picchu is the main thing, yeah. Yeah, but that's like a big, you know, Andean structure. Andean, that's wrong. Andean, it's in that's the wrong. Andes. That's talk- not wrong. That's yeah. not how you say it. How do you say it then? Andean is not correct. How? What is correct? Then? For the people I just, from just saw the wheels in your brain start up. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you don't want them to start up. I think the one thing that really bothers me about this is that like I don't know, right? Like I wish I could be like I wish I could pinpoint it exactly because that's the upsetting part, right? It's just like I wish I could be like, oh, it is from this new shirt you got, or it's from the way you sat in this chair. But the fact that I can't confirm nor deny. These are the things that's that's the thing that kind of bugs me a little bit, because like I know him. So I know all the stuff that he's been telling me. He's there's no reason for him to exaggerate or lie or anything like that or like try to fool me essentially into thinking that it's something that it's not. I mean, he wasn't when he was on here. He wasn't like, yeah. it's aliens, boys. It was nope. I got abducted. He didn't Alex Jones. It. He was just like, oh, right. Amazing. Austin met his first 
<laughs> True believer. Paranormal, yeah, a paranormal guy. Paranormal. Uh, and he was kind of like me, where it's like, well, I can't explain it, but I'm not convinced it's aliens. I was well, like, exactly. that's a, but still, a man I mean, after my own kilt. <laughs> but I mean, at that point, you know, it's just, what are we looking at here? Because I'm on the, I'm on the camp where it's hard to, like, I came in here obviously being like, I think that the the Falcon Lake incident, in my opinion, that seems extraterrestrial or like, you know, paranormal in some spooky aspect is what really triggered this whole phenomenon, you know? But there's obviously like actual like medical evidence on, you know, a, right now, like, you know, a firsthand experience that we just heard from, but like also countless others that are out there. But I can't just, I cannot, what if it's just like such a weird, you know, skin rash that just happens and we don't have, you know, like a, random autoimmune thing that just pops up and it just happens to be so symmetrical. The thing that would make me more skeptical or not skeptical, but more of a believer is if he was like, you know, something in my past or like that. What if it was in his past? What if it was his parents past? I mean, then we, I mean, then we'd have to really go investigate, you know? So, but let's Mm -hmm. finish it off here with this. uh, We were talking about the Falcon Lake incident. And so, you know, this guy, he actually got burned by something. Now, I was kind of looking at that shirt that he had, and it was kind of like all burnt up. But when you look at the picture, it looks like it's on his almost like his stomach and upper torso. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem to necessarily fit the picture, but and none of the pictures that are there really show these like raised up. Like, look at the look at the burns on the you know, like yeah, right on his like stomach and like where his chest would be. Kind well, of. that could have been on like a uh, fucking caterpillar. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Fucking humongous caterpillar. Like uh, those are pretty no, hard ca- compared uh, to those on Chris. Are. Those are those yeah, are yeah, chunky. Yeah, those are, those like, are like that big. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yep. They're about the size of a, a penny, right? Regardless, so this incident is definitely something different than I feel like what Chris is, even if it isn't, if it is related somehow to extraterrestrials or whatever but uh yeah see that's more like chris's right there is that chris yeah. that is <laughs> I mean, it is chris's yeah yeah see that? i'm cutting between them so you can see the difference between the two like i said no, the original yeah. one is square pattern this is a triangular so it looks division. like one of those laundry baskets you know yeah i see what you're saying yeah like it literally looks like you like rubbed up against some sort of surface but then you still don't see well, like, like you any, wouldn't like, rub up against it you'd like either. you'd have to like sit there for like I don't know. Good minute. It's like, I don't know enough about the skin to know. Is there any sort of like dermal thing? Like there are tons. There's like cytosis or what are they? What are they called? One moment, please hold. Psoriasis, motherfucker. No, no. It's it's like a. God damn. There's aspects. I, I, I have. It's called OBS. It's great. Get it. Oh, yeah, I will. Since I have a PC. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so dismissive you're <laughs> facing the fucking mic i mean so i'm looking stuff up what are you a streamer oh, oh i'm working oh on God. it awesome. are you? also yeah genuinely also i finished this whole bottle since we started this show shit. i haven't like i just got everything worked out this like today during the day so i'm gonna oh, start it the next week shit. i like will fucking rodeo going back okay so the guy you know he got ill from this situation he went out there and he was you know he saw these things so did chris say he got ill no he he said he was just fine right yeah exactly that's why it's so hard to like these are totally not connected that's why he picked them that's why they picked him he was a he was a perfect perfect uh, yeah he could he could (laughs) handle his radiation is perfect he's resilient they're tapping their three super long fingers together if they uh, are using like DNA of people and like he's one of those things, you know, well, he could keep be him close, man. He might be able to get you off world when that nuclear war goes off. <laughs> and that's another episode of Skeptical Eyes for grid patterns. And we have this stupid fucking chipmunk that keeps talking. The bear. You so, look like a goddamn chipmunk. Okay, here, I'm just going to finish out this story about the Falcon Lake incident, and then we can just do it. Lather finish off. us off. I'll make sure Ronnie Zamora's written up for, like, when do you want to do this next month, week, whatever. It's a good question. 
Yeah, Pat. I've got like, the information. The I can one. bullshit my way through it now, but I'll have to like write it up if we want it proper. This is me <laughs> smiling. It's very cute. <laughs> Thanks. I Put like your it. background back on, Jesse. You'll understand. The teddy bear disappeared, as you can see. <laughs> Stefan Makalek, his entire family kind of like recalled having such like negative press from it. So I don't think that he was a like lying about this, especially when he had all those symptoms and they actually tested him in the press. And then uh, he was sticking to his story. Mechlek said he never claimed that the craft he saw was anything alien, though. Although he referred to what he saw as a UFO, he died still believing it was an experimental did. aircraft. <laughs> I I'm willing to say that something happened to him because that shirt that's burnt, something burned that shirt. It doesn't. My initial guess was he fell on a grill or something, but there's no struggle marks. Like, give me a second. Well, also, he, I think he was it was like a day trip because he was like staying in a motel. So why would he be grilling out there if he's just like prospecting rocks in a day trip too? the, the fact that there was a rigid edge like you could see that yeah. edge of his shirt too you know yeah it's going down that, my shit's fucking downloaded we're still finishing the podcast jesse calm yourself yep. so okay the so, fact that there is like he had that edge button. on his shirt <laughs> it was all square and it had <laughs> less smaller amounts of holes which this is going to be going back but if you're having an exhaust, right? Say you've got a port that's circular, and then you've got a square grate it looks, over it. It, it looks like a, like a like a rectangular it, grate. It looks like he like wrapped his like self around a machine gun from like World War II. That is an interesting opinion. Yeah. Or, so say you had like I think an. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Extended, you know, like an egg-like shape. Yeah. And then you've got a grate over it. You're going to have a square that's all the same. And then as that grate tapers out, as whatever exhaust tapers out, you're going to have less circles. On that image of him, he has like these three mild ones at the bottom, right? Yeah. How do we explain Chris, though? Which it, we that's what I'm saying. That's the thing. It's two Chris, I don't instances. think we can explain. But what I'm trying to say <laughs> is I don't think aliens is the primary go-to. At least for Chris. By the way. At least for Chris. Awesome. His looks yeah. like it could genuinely be the grate of some sort of exhaust from a craft. There's a yeah. non, like on his chest, right? There's yeah. a non-shaking yeah. edge to his burn mark. It doesn't look like he fell on something and freaked out. It's sh it's solid. It's shaped. And then it has that very distinct cubicle pattern. Now, with Chris, it's one, it's a triangular pattern, not square. Yeah, it does Two, have a different there's no edging. No, so I don't there think is. at the top, do you see there's like, is there here? Yeah, one like moment. On let the me, let me pop like... up that photo again. Real Michael, quick. is moment. your battlefield updated? Oh my Lord. Uh, okay. I don't know. I haven't checked. Pull that is there, there? Can you, yeah, is you there see? an edging in there? I mean, like it looks like, I mean, in a weird pattern there is. Okay. You look at the two, but the, okay. But like, look at that. And then here, look, let me find his shirt bottom. again. Real yeah. It looks like there's a vague, like, vignette kind of but regardless back to the falcon lake like thing. there's a distinct edging on the falcon lake yeah, yeah. shirt where it is on this at the best but it's a could, vague edging but see yeah, those but top three say, who are beyond the edging like well, it doesn't seem like it's, it's a solid in a weird, pattern yeah, it's edged in a weird pattern because right. you look at the ones down at the bottom right but okay but here's some other interesting things about the um, falcon lake incident because it was one of the most documented ufo case in uh Canadian history, I guess. So, you know, multiple age agencies were involved in this case, the Department of, uh, oh my God, National Defense Department of Health, along with the Royal Canadian Air Force in conjunction with the U.S. Air Force. And so, Aerial like, look Canada at that. See how there's a distinct edge on that shirt? I see what you're saying, yes. Like, see, it's evenly spaced-ish. So I could see that being from an object. I'm not concrete on the falcon lake incident not being related to some sort of advanced technology possibly even alien the, the with chris though i feel like it's not practical to say that it's no alien. I, wouldn't I wouldn't say it's alien either if there's like, more i'll pop between the two like look you know, at that if there was more experience i'd say something but okay so but the falcon lake incident so what do you Royal think Canadian it is Air Force, that what do, what do I think? think? What do you think? What do you think? Quick speak is. 
dude, that's the thing, man. It, I think that it's gotta be some sort of like weird, not autoimmune, but some sort of skin condition that just kind of flares up every once in a while. And obviously has no, it's, it's so weird that it's in such a weird pattern, but mm. No, it, it, I agree I with at, Pat. It feels I, like a skin. So you so see Pat's how a skeptical guy, a little, which is I a mean, rarity, but it yeah. happens. So like, look one, at the, maybe, the, the yeah. dot, Not like third row up. You talk about the one that kind of goes that's into that, like faded weird. out. And yeah. you see how that's kind of in the center of his back where it dips out. That's not the center of his back. That's his shoulder blade. Okay, here one moment. Let me see if I can find well, okay. that second photo. Michael I think sent the me. the bottom line is there that we think that both of us think that it's more of a skin thing, unrelated necessarily to anything alien. I mean, yeah, the problem compared too, though, to the the Falcon Lake one, that one yeah. definitely looks like something. Like again, that I'm, is, I'm still such a believer that I think that it could be. What if they just like put him to sleep and he has no memory of it and there's no you know like no reason for him to know because they're so good at abducting because that's still bouncing around in my head so i mean i can't but I like can't what are you completely. getting out of, so this portion in the center makes sense what are you getting out of the scapula <laughs> i don't i do that's like the spine the i get anything? it what are you getting out of the scapula though i mean maybe michael are you still there teddy bear come back no he's gone the teddy bear is gone he muted himself he did but you then, honey motherfucker. Well, we should hear, but okay. Oh, Pat just muted himself. What's up? I can't hear you right now, Pat. I'm <laughs> that so was sorry. fucking this guy. <laughs> oh, okay. This motherfucker. Okay, so basically the findings that were made at the location of the event hold some interesting evidence to the story as a uh, the circular burn marks or radioactive soil samples. So they actually found radioactive soil samples. And I said there was all those like Canadian and U.S. like joint operations going on to investigate it. The investigators also found irradiated clothing that Mechelek had actually uh, removed before fleeing. I think that was his, Yonder. Uh, his gloves. Well, no, that I think might have still been on him. The gloves? Do we have pictures of the gloves? I haven't seen pictures of the gloves. I, I think there was an article that might have had them, but yeah, I don't. Some people think that there might have been. You like, keep uh, talking. I'm going to look for gloves. It was like apparently um, metal burnt into a rock that was there that was like irradiated metal um, on the rock that it supposedly had landed on. But people say that it could be a plant. You know, somebody planted a, you know, metal after the fact because I think it was found later. But uh, yeah, that's basically the uh, Falcon Lake. Incident. I found his gloves. It looks like it has blood on the head. Yeah, I know. But I mean, have so you, it, seen... it was hot enough to like slightly liquidize it, but not enough to fully like melt it. It, ju it just made it like that that smooth surface you get, you know? Yeah, when you like, but when you super burn it. Yeah, I know. What you're or whatever about. the hell is not Looks like it's drenched in blood. Yeah, I don't know what. I mean, these are also like it could have been like muddy where he was too and wet. I don't that know. Doesn't what look that is. So That's I blood. think at the end of the that, day, like the I'd wet. say that I don't know about the Falcon Lake incident, but with Chris, I feel like there has to be an easier explanation, mostly because nothing physical occurred. Like he didn't feel weird after. It's not like there was some sort of futurist, futuristic anesthetic applied. He didn't. It could have been. It could have been so advanced that he didn't even remember. Like shit. Like it's like nothing happened. I don't believe that. Just based on how chemistry works. But I guess technically, did you get fucking pizza? Where the what the fuck's going on on your yeah, end? Dude, he's been Michael down. disappeared, and you're over here eating. <laughs> well, that's because I think that we've got we've kind of come to the bottom of it. Because we're okay. Let's uh. I don't know if he's, he's oh, there. Okay, the we, can teddy do bear's back. we can do the sign off. Where you been, motherfucker? We should get all the opinions out. All Hit right. With it. We'll start with Pizza Man. We'll go to Bear. I'll do it. And then, Pat, you end it because you're the host. Pizza Man, go. Well, this pizza's a little cold. But uh, from further investigation, I don't, uh, I don't discount. There wasn't an abduction. I think possibly Quick Sneak or Chris, as we know him, 
probably maybe got abducted and uh like there and like technology so good he didn't even remember it right that's what you want if you abducted somebody all right teddy bear what's your opinion uh my opinion is i don't know if anything did happen i don't know if it was a result of something that was explainable or whatever but i don't know i what bothers me more is not knowing what it was like yeah that i have to agree dude like because i i can't I can't say that I'm totally skeptical, but I also am like, yeah, what if it just like they're so good now that they don't fuck up? I, I would even be happy, like I would be happy if he was like, Oh, and I had really weird dreams that night or yeah, something that led that in, would make in a it creepy more... way, even if it seemed unbelievable, I would be happy with that. But the fact that it's like such a mystery bothers me. And that's the same thing with a lot of other people. It's like it's the same deal that just like happens up and then it disappears or it comes back and it doesn't hurt and no hold yourself fellow (laughs) your turn is coming yeah you're right (laughs) so i feel like the falcon link incident i can't say anything definitive i don't know i can't say anything definitive and i'm not confident saying anything definitive the fact that it's on his shirt and his body makes me think something happened i don't know what if I could find a Canadian grill from the 1950s to 60s that has that exact pattern, Call I'm Google. going with that. Just I tried. It's not happening. Funny. But if that doesn't happen, I don't know. However, with Chris, I think something related to how we as modern people live caused that allergic reaction. I'm not sure what portions of the skin are having that reaction. I'm not sure why it's so patterned. There's no way that's an allergic reaction. But it ain't your turn. In that uniform um, position, there's no fucking way. I, I'm not sure what or why, but I can't confidently say it's aliens or anything. Like He didn't mention Interdimensional anything. Interdimensional beings. He didn't say that his partner noticed anything. Other than later on in the day when she saw his back. So I can't assume there is any anything ex extraneous to the situation i think it's very plain what happened but whatever it is is beyond what i know so i'd i'd say the falcon lake incident maybe that is aliens the general phenomena i think that's got to be some sort of commonplace allergic reaction we don't understand yet i'm gonna say you're wrong thank you sir Mr. Couldn't figure out my background. Pat, what do you think? Yeah, dude, that's the one thing. So the Falcon Lake incident. So this all started because I was trying to connect what I thought the grid or like why people got all into the red dot pattern and grid pattern. But uh, honestly, with the Falcon Lake, I don't even I'm honestly leaning towards like it was human type of craft that actually like was experimental because that sounds like super weird. That's just like I was thing. saying with the great thing, that regularity where it, it shrinks off as the, you know, yeah. shape of the actual exhaust tapers. So does the pattern on which the exhaust comes out of. So that makes sense to me. That's just, this is, I, I don't know. You know, yeah. I don't really know if it's alien or not. I want to, it sounds alien for sure, especially for the time and like what ended up happening with him being irradiated. But I'm also like, that sounds more, there's a lot of more examples of like people seeing ufos and not becoming irradiated where i think like if it was like a human made thing that it would they'd fuck up and it would end up yeah i don't know this is just super weird that me and michael agree on something and then you and fucking yeah it is austin agree on something high five buddy you're finally on my team (laughs) clap (laughs) it's funny because you guys are one and two above like this yeah on my screen Dude, as for quick sneak, exactly what he seems like a cool Michael dude. Said, it makes me it's almost so much worse that there is no other defining factors to that, because now for me, it's still it could be either. And I I want to believe aliens, but I'm also like it's so benign. I'm not willing to believe aliens because I don't think there's any degree of technology where you wouldn't acknowledge some point of being fully abducted and returned. Uh, 
Dude, have you ever been there. in an anesthesia? Just imagine like space. Yes, I have. And I freaked out until I woke up. Let me like, be like okay, Joe Rogan. Cool. Have you ever done DMT? Have you ever we done have space do anesthesia? <laughs> That's what it is, man. That's DMT. I mean, it, if you are. really focus, you can focus out of DMT. It's not fun, but you're like, this All right, fuck how about me. Forget old, old time's sake. Play us out, Michael. And, and that was another episode of Austin Thinks Grills Attacked People. <laughs> Thank you. And we'll close. So to <laughs> skeptical eye for the paranormal guys. I'm Austin. That's Pat. That's Jesse. And the bear is Michael. We've been here to present one more random experience someone had. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'd love to have you join us for the next episode. Have a good night, everyone. Hail Satan.